Well, good morning, everybody. Got uh, everything put back together. Well, Wayne already did the O2 sensor and the fuel filter. There's one thing to do when we get back, and that's the tank valve on the top of the gas tank. But got everything undone except for the power cord. That'll be the last thing just to keep the AC going here until we get on the road. It's still 90 degrees today here in October. Yeah, but we're ready to go. And gonna pretty much do the same exact thing we did a few weeks ago as far as driving around, warming up the engine, simulating the same driving conditions as normal. We'll stop, maybe grab a bite to eat or something. Uh, Wayne's gonna do his, his live thing again just to make sure no codes pop up or the readings look, hopefully some readings are gonna look different on that O2 sensor too. Oh, oh yeah. And the throttle issue, so. Yep. Hoping to see some difference and hopefully everything goes smoothly, so. Got all cameras hooked back up in the RV. It's been a while, guys. Let's go for a ride. All right, got the seats put back in here. Jax, are you about ready to go? What do you think, guy? You want to try this out? See how she starts it after sitting all night. Fired right up. That's, that's good. Is that spot going to work for you for a little bit, Jax? Okay, it'll work for a little bit. Until we get moving, huh? Can I borrow your seat for a little bit? <laughs> well, she sounds good. She feels good. She shifts good. Uh, what are you getting for readings as far as that new O2 sensor and throttle and everything? Uh, O2 sensor is reading like it should now. The throttle position sensor is not jumping to 30, 40 points like what it did before. It's, it was holding steady. Okay. Um, even the other O2 sensors are actually reading a lot better. They're not jumping around as much as they was before. Awesome. But everything that I'm reading now from my scanner is showing everything is so much better. It's great news. Yeah. I can definitely feel a difference with the shifting. So, yeah. It's promising. All right, well, we'll go find some lunch and uh, get back to him and get parked, guys. Poor Jax doesn't know where to sit. <laughs> All right, guys, recognize this place? Yep, we were here just uh, about three weeks ago, and we're going to do the same exact thing as last time. All right, so the idea here, sit in for a half an hour. Uh, now that we don't have a leaky injector, we're not gonna be flooding the engine while it sits here. Hopefully when we come back out from lunch, we'll be able to fire this RV up. But obviously, we'll see. I don't know how it's gonna work out yet. Let's get some good grub. I am gonna go with just the bacon cheeseburger. And I just want cheese and bacon and meat and maybe a little more well done than normal. Bacon cheeseburger. Two originals. Cheese and egg. I didn't see that on here. You want egg on it? Yeah. Clarity of the video will be a big help. Here you go. Oh, perfect. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. So Wayne ordered stuff off their hidden special menu, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And I got my burger, hash browns covered. Thank you. You're All right. That was scrumptious. Actually, the waitress in here, cute gal, Lexi, she's the same waitress that was here three weeks ago when we started this, and I had a full beard. So, all right, hop in here, see what old Yoda wants to do when I turn the key. All right, here we go. Ready, Wayne? Yep. Easy off. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, man! Oh man, oh man. You have no idea how excited I really am. I, it's hard to just hold my emotion right now. What a crazy year it's been, and now it's fixed. While we're not out of the woods yet, there's still uh, actually quite a few more things Wayne and I are gonna do on the RV. I'll talk about that more, but we just pulled off the road here. This is the Man in the Sea Museum, and they got some funky stuff outside. It's like all uh, submarine related. I don't really know what it all is. But they're not open today. U.S. Savvy Sea Lab Room. That's huge. Yeah, I feel like this would be a really fun museum when they're open. Submarine, all that stuff right here in Panama City. Some of the stuff, I just don't know what it is or what it does. But it's doing it now. This looks old. That looks really old. 
okay this can't be for real this thing's got propellers it's got wheels <laughs> what is it it's just strange that's what it is yeah we're, we're gonna go with strange and odd okay the IUC tech diver international underwater Huh. Look at that instrument panel there. It's very strange. I may have to actually uh, come back and check this place out when it's open later. See the inside and get some explanations of some of this. But for right now, I'm gonna head back to the RV head back where I'm parked, the RV park. You know, as I mentioned, I got some more stuff I want to do with the RV, Wayne and I. I'm not going to bore you guys with that, but little stuff as well as diagnosing the generator oil leak up here. And then, believe it or not, I got to decide where I'm going. Because now all of a sudden that the RV is back to 100% health, I don't actually know that I want to go back west for RTR. Uh, pretty much everybody I know, every YouTuber I know is going to be at RTR for the winter in Arizona in the desert. And I'm like, I kind of like Florida actually, so I don't know. Or maybe like go back up a little farther north for like a month and then come back down in November or something. I don't know. But uh, it's a good feeling having the RV back to working order. I really appreciate Wayne's help. If you guys need a mechanic down in the Panama City, you should uh, talk to him on his channel over there, RV Prepper Wayne. He does really good work. He doesn't argue with you about the stuff you want to do. So awesome. So back here, parked in my spot, and uh, decided that I'm not going to film any more of the the other work and projects that are Wayne and I are going to do on the RV. Not going to bore you with that. So um, we'll get it done. I'll take care of what I got to take care of. Then we'll get back on the road and decide where the heck Jackson and I are going to venture next. So. Um, We'll continue to try to be safe here although some of that is out of my control apparently I'm doing my best guys and um, we'll get through this today was one heck of a fantastic day and I feel like I need to just kind of wow we did it finally what a everything I've tried to fix that's supposed to be easy you know the easy fuel system the brakes the fuel pump and just everything in this RV nothing has been easy like it's supposed to be everybody says I've um, I'm really thankful for Wayne's help you know just knocking it out and doing everything I mean he wasn't afraid to rip into this thing and he never has been so it, this is a great opportunity for both of us to help each other out so I'm really glad I have a friend in Wayne and um, Again, his channel is RV Prepper Wayne. There'll be a link below in the video description. And uh, Jackson and I will see you soon. I don't know. Bye, guys.